Hello everyone, so in today's video I'll be doing a review and test video on the Fancyong S880 M.2 NVMe 2TB SSD so this is the box for it the computer I'll be testing it on is my i7-10700 uh, computer. It has a ASUS H470M motherboard. So my motherboard cannot take advantage of PCI Express 4.0, which this is capable of. I think 7.3 gigabytes per second. But my um, motherboard only supports uh, four. Um, I think it's 3.5 gigabytes per second. So I'll be testing this. Let me get the box open. Okay. I have used Fancyong um, M.2 NVMEs in the past. I've, I've, uh, I'm using, I have five of them so far. What three are one terabyte? Uh, I think M.2 PCI Express 3.0, 3.0s, and uh, another one is a 500 gigabyte, 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe. And another one is a 512 M.2 NVMe, which is only capable of 2.4 gigabytes per second. The other 512 is capable of, I think, 3.5 gigabytes per second. All of them work just fine. I haven't had any problems with any of them, so I just purchased this to add to my computer to increase the storage capacity. I do not have any additional. M.2 NVMe slot, so I will be using a PCIe X4 M.2 NVMe adapter. Let's see right here. So that's what I'll be using it in. Basically, and I'll be using this uh, M.2 NVMe heatsink fan as well. Okay, here's this is how the M.2 NVMe looks like. This is the front side. It has, um, I think, it's a graphene sticker on here to dissipate the heat. This is the back side of it. As you can see, it's two terabytes. It's a fancy young S880. I didn't really, I don't plan on the on my last uh, upgrade, which I used a fancy young, I think it was one terabyte. I didn't use a heat sink, I didn't use a thermal pad sticker. I just used this and this cooled it just fine. The sticker that's on it already. Uh, is adequate enough to cool your cool this down using a heat sink basically so I'm going to show you how this thing performs next okay so the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into computer management go to uh, storage go to disk management Select GPT. Go uh, select the drive. That's the drive. New simple volume. Next. 
just assign a letter and then just press next NTFS format the drive and you have it now the drive ready you can use it that's the drive I want to go to crystal mark info and I'll show you the drive that's iDrive that's the S880 2 terabyte Okay, so now I'll be testing it out. Now I'll be talking about uh, the Fancyong S880 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD 4, 4th gen times 4, which was rated at 7.3 gigabytes per second. I didn't have a motherboard that could get 7.3 gigabytes per second because my motherboard is only capable of Gen 3 times four and my motherboard being an asus h49 470m motherboard which has two m.2 nvme slots and a uh, extra pcie 3.0 by 16 slot as well which is only rated for gen 3 times four so that's the port that I tested my uh, M.2 NVMe on, and I was I got about 3.5 gigabytes per second. That's to be expected with the motherboard that I had, and I did have a I do have a number of fancy young drives, fancy young drives that I bought in the past. Um, I buy I have three uh, fancy young S. 500 Pros, one terabyte M.2 NVMEs, which I'm using on my other computers. I have, um, I also have one Fancyong S501 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, which I'm using on another computer of mine. This one is only capable of 2.15 gigabytes per second for the read. For the write, it's capable of 1.6 gigabytes per second for the write. I have another Fancyong S101 512 GB SATA 3 2.5 inch SSD, which I'm using on another computer of mine. That computer is still working. I bought this maybe last year. It's been about maybe 10 months. No problems with this so far. I also have a Fancyong S500 Pro, 512 GB M.2 NVMe, and uh, that has no problems either. So I, right now I own about, let's see how many, 
seven Fancyong SSD drives and this is the most recent one that I purchased and uh, so far I didn't have any problems with with running any of them I do have programs on them which I use to uh, run programs and no problems with storing uh, data or running games even on it runs pretty reads pretty quickly and loads up the programs very quickly as well on this computer this is my i74790k I have a fancy on s501 pro on it which I'll show you Here, this is the one. This is the one I'm using right now on this computer. The other one, the other computer that I, I uh, screen captured was my uh, Asus H4790 base computer, which had a i7 10700K processor on it. And that's the one that I tested with this. And, um, I was pretty satisfied with it. Uh, if you're interested in getting one yourself, um, I'll leave the links in the video descriptions below. You could buy it on AliExpress or you could buy it on Amazon. They sell it, uh, I think they even sell it on, um, what is it, Newegg, I think. They sell it there just about everywhere. So this is a pretty good company that makes pretty good SSDs and the price isn't it's competitive the price is very competitively priced so you could buy it for a little bit less money than let's say a Samsung or any other Western brand so uh, if you have any thoughts or questions you could leave it in the comment section below and thanks for watching